Hi guys, in this video we will be discussing about a problem of construction of a hyperbola when the method is abscissa and double ordinate method. So the question will be something like that, draw a hyperbola having the double ordinate as 80 mm and abscissa is 40 mm and traverse axis of 140 mm. In some cases we will give you information regarding ordinate and uh, half of the traverse axis. Whatever it is, information will be given. If it is ordinate, then uh, we have to double it so, so that we will get double ordinate. Suppose same question is there. If he is giving it in a, uh, another manner, how it will be giving it is that draw a hyperbola having ordinate as 40 mm, abscissa as 40 mm and half the traverse axis is uh, 70 mm. In this way, they will be given. So let us come back to the AutoCAD screen and we will discuss it. So once if you, uh, you can see, you will press the or though I will keep it on. And first, let me draw the traverse axis. So, I'll take the line command. And what is the traverse axis given in the question? It is 140 mm. So, let me draw a 140 mm line. So, we'll select a point and we'll draw a 140 mm line. So, this is your 140 mm line. And we'll use multi text, empty enter. And at this point, suppose so I'm using some 4 as my size. And I'm using this is A and close text editor. So, this is my A point and this is my b point so both the ends of the traverse axis are ab which is of 140 mm now select a midpoint that midpoint will be uh, some something like o we'll, we'll give the generally uh, the midpoints will be denoted by o or something like that. so o midpoint is now select a point at a midpoint uh, before uh, selecting a point we should change the p type so i'm changing the p type uh, from point to I'm taking some other shape. I'm selecting some shape like this and I'm using PO enter and uh, I'm giving uh, The midpoint exactly at midpoint. I'm giving the point. So once it is finished now uh, What we have done we have drawn a traverse axis now the second point of the question is Abscissa is 40 mm. Abscissa is the distance between the midpoint to the uh, either side of it. so here we can say that if, if this is the midpoint, if this is moved with 40 mm in the right side direction, then that is nothing but your abscissa end point, which is O and supposingly that point is C. So therefore, I'll select this point and I'll select move command. With this as my base point, I'll move in the rightward direction with 40 mm. So now I'll give the name as C. I'll give the name as C. I'll leave the name as C. So this OC is nothing but your abscissa. This OC is nothing but your abscissa. So O and C is nothing but your abscissa. I'll give O also, I'll give a point so that you will not get confused. So OC is your abscissa. Now at the C along the perpendicular direction with OC, you'll be having double ordinate. Double ordinate will be either side of the traverse axis. Therefore, EBO is uh, once, let me see the dimension. Double ordinate is 80 mm. Therefore, uh, above, above AB, you will be having 40 and below AB, you will be having 40. Therefore, I can draw the double ordinate here. This side, it is 40 mm escape. And again, this side is also 40 mm. That is below the AB also. That is below the tower surface also 40 mm. Now, along OC points, uh, take this OC as midpoints and draw a rectangle. Supposingly, PQRS such that uh, this double ordinate is one side and uh, OC that is abscissa is another side. So I am uh, constructing a rectangle which uh, which is having one side uh, that is length is uh, double ordinate and uh, breadth is uh, abscissa. So in this way 40 mm and here also I am conducting it. So I have constructed, constructed a rectangle. I can give the names for it. Supposingly, I'm giving PQRS. So this is your P. Uh, this is your Q. This is your Q. This is your Q. This is your R. And this is the, yes, PQRS I'm giving it. Uh, it's up to you. You can give your na different names also. I'm, I'm giving it uh, for easiness. I can give this. PQRS. So once this is finished, 
along PC and along PS, divide the line segment into number of equal parts. If you are doing PC as 5 equal parts, here also you take PS also 5 equal parts. That is what you are doing is that an abscissa and an ordinate is being divided into equal parts. So let me select the division command and press enter and PC I'll divide it into 5 equal parts, supposingly like this. So again division command, PS is also divided into 5 equal parts. Here the numbering is very much important. So the numbering should be given important as I am selling it. First I will give you this number. Since the ABCDs all are in 4 size, I will give this as 2 size. So it will be a 2.0 enter. And this is 1 I will give it. This is 1 I will give it. So this bottom point is 1. Then this is 2. This is your two point and uh, this is your third point I'll zoom it so that it is visible to you this is third point this is your fourth point this is our fourth point now you give the points here in this direction so 1, 2, 3, 4 is there now. So 4, 3, 2, 1 will be there. So this is your uh, 4 dash point. This is your 4 dash point. This is your 3 dash point. 3 dash point. And this is our three, uh, 2 dash point. This is our 2 dash point. Uh, since instead of writing, uh, instead of uh, what is that, uh, using multi text command continuously, what I am doing is that I am using control C and control V, common copy and paste command, so that it will be easy for me to. If you don't want to this to happen, you can even go for the uh, multi text command continuously. After this, join A1 and A2. A3, A1, A2, A3 and A4, A1, A2, A3 and A4 and then join, join O1 dash, O2 dash, O3 dash and O4 dash. What I have done now? 1 dash, uh, O1 dash, O2 dash, O3 dash and O4 dash are joined and similarly uh, A1, A2, A3, A4 are joined. Now the 1 dash and 1 line uh, intersection point should be selected. If you are getting confused because of the li uh, white lines, I will do one thing. I will uh, select these uh, straight lines, 1 dash and 1 line, first line will be selected and I am given a color. And similarly second line and second line I am selecting. These are all for our uh, references purposes only. No, it's not necessary that you should give the same colors. It's just for our understanding purposes only. So, if you don't want, you don't, you don't need to give co colors also. Just for your uh, understanding purposes, I'm giving it. I'm giving these lines. Uh, okay, the line has been selected with same color. I'll give some other color. So, now, now whatever the intersection points are there, you select those intersection points and give the point. P O enter the yellow yellow line and the orange orange and uh, pink pink or whatever that color is green green. Then we have to select this uh, P point also. Now this is the upper uh, points are obtained for the curve. Now we want bottom points also. For that what you can do is it you can select the points what are obtained here. You can select the points what are obtained here uh, and uh, you can uh, oh, mirror image them. You can mirror image them. Something like this. I am selecting right selection so that it will be easy for me. Uh, this point P is also to be selected. And then use mirror image and use AB as your mirror. AB as your mirror line. And then press enter so that the bottom points are also updated. After this, you join polyline by using polyline join all the points here 
whatever are obtained there all these points are selected i'll zoom it for your uh, visibility once these are all finished whatever the obtained curve is called your uh, hyperbola since it is uh, done by uh, polyline we can use pe enter and use fit command so that it is fit perfectly and select this line select this line and use some i'm giving some blue color and give some size like this and use line width display so therefore whatever the information is given with that information a rectangle a hyperbola is constructed by using a abscissa ordinate method. after that you can give multi text multi text enter so i'll uh, give the information some i'll give some two size and i'll uh, copy paste my question and i'll give the information here and press close text editor then use zoom extends and select this line perfectly like this and uh, use zoom extends and here one thing is we forgot about one thing what is that we did not give any information regarding the dimension so what is the dimension known to us we know the traverse axis so this one should be given traverse axis and we also know the information regarding double ordinate so that one is also be to be shown double ordinate is also to be shown after that we also have the information regarding abscissa that is oc or ps so we will select this ps and we'll show this also. the dimensions are coming very small for them what we can do dim style we can go we can go for the dim style escape d i m s t y l a dim style and press enter and modify and uh, instead of uh, text 0.18 i am giving some three size three or we can give four. three is okay optimum here also arrow says also i'm changing it to three and then pressing okay and press close uh, you can see this is 80 40 140 even you can change the 0.0000 also can be removed dim styla dim style and press enter and you can use modify and uh, in the primary units instead of 0.0000 we can only keep zero and then press ok and then press close so this is 80 this is 140 this is 40 whatever the information given in the question are all shown here and this is also shown in some cases they'll ask you to draw uh, hyperbola in both the sides because hyperbola means it is not coming only one side it should be having two sides because the when you are cutting the right circular cone you'll get hyperbola in both the sides so in the if that is the case what you can do is that you can select all this you can select all this and you can use mirror image and you can select like this and then press enter so both the sets are getting the